Okay, we're back and here we are again. I, um, this is week five. And this is experiment three. This is lab three, experiment three. Okay. And this is compounding a cream. And if you liked last week, uh, you're going to like this week because it's not really different from compounding it on the, in, in terms of procedure. The, the product ends up looking a little different, but uh, what you do isn't really different. Cream, ointment, you know, uh, they're not the same, but you make them the same way. Uh, so we washed our hands and we put our gloves on, okay? Like we always do, we're going to clean our scale with our alcohol swab. Um, as you might suspect, um, a week has not passed, so the alcohol swab is not dry yet. Uh, this is just, I'm just doing this a half an hour after I did uh, the ointment. <laughs> That's why I still have the same clothes on. Okay. Um, All right, so uh, we're going to use weighing paper and there's a whole procedure in the in the manual about weighing paper, except that we have a tear scale. So <clears throat> we're not really going to weigh the paper and then subtract the weight of the paper. We're going to tear it. Okay. And we've talked about that before. And that's T-A-R-E, not T-E-A-R. But in any event, there we go. All right. <clears throat> and now we are going to put... Uh, some eucerin cream uh, on the paper on the scale about 25 and that should be that should be most of it because about 25 grams in this and our container is about 29 grams so that's going to be just about it and again um, they they uh, tell you if you uh, if you get too much then Put it back in. You, you're not going to put that back in there. Uh, just forget that, you know. But I'm going to squeeze this out. Turn the scale on. Squeeze this out. And the, the scale is essentially teared now. So I just turned it on. Okay. So uh, let's put, put a piece of paper on. And tear it. Okay. And then we put the cream on. Okay. We've got our 25. Check this again just a little bit. Grams of cream, 25 grams of cream. There we go. And then we're going to move this over. And now you can't see. Better. Okay. So we're going to put our cream on our parchment paper. And again, the instructions say. You should tape the paper down, and then they go on to say, move the paper. Well, um, you can't have it both ways. So we're just, we're not going to tape the paper. We're just going to move it down. All right. <clears throat> and now we're going to pretty much do the same thing with a weighing boat. 
we're going to uh, zero the scale, put a weighing boot on it. It's going to record a weight. We're going to press down on the tear again. That's going to disappear. Okay, now we're going to turn it back on, and then it's going to come back as zero. All right. And as before, we're going to weigh five grams of cinnamon. There we go. some heavy cinnamon. Okay. Close. Perfect. Five grams. Okay. Very good. Our five grams of cinnamon. So we've got our cream here, and we're going to put our cinnamon onto the parchment. Okay. Uh, we inspected our cinnamon last week, and it's nice and smooth, so we're not worried about that. All right, we're going to take a little bit of the cream. It says about the size of a quarter. The important thing is that we, we get a volume of the cream that looks roughly like the volume of the cinnamon, okay? Because what are we doing again? We're doing geometric dilution. All right, and then we're going to just incorporate by rubbing this cream, or this, actually, we're going to incorporate the cinnamon into the cream. That's what we're doing here. Okay, we're going to rub it out all nice and smooth. This goes, I'm, I'm really impressed with this goes really well. I mean, we're not having to rub this too much at all to get it, to get it smooth. Now, you see, see what... Can you see that now? <clears throat> see how it's streaky? Yeah, there we go. Wow, what a close up. See how it's streaky? Okay. Um, that's why you don't want to use too much cream at first because uh, it'll get like that and you can't get it out. Now, we're not over. You know, we'll rub it a little bit more and it'll come out. I'm not too worried about that. Um, but that's the kind of thing you can see if you try to use too much cream too soon. You have to incorporate it slowly in a geometric dilution. Right, but we should, should be able to rub this out. And there it goes. Very good. This this is this is a good demonstration because it uh, helps you to develop confidence because this is actually working uh, very well. All right, so now we got this volume and this volume. I'm going to take some more, you know, roughly that much. Okay, and I'm going to rub that into here. When I say rub, I should be using pharmacy words like spatulate. Okay. And the people that make, the people that do ointment compounding or cream compounding regularly, um, this is what they do. Okay, they, they spatulate. If you do it very infrequently, um, It's not unusual for um, compounders that, that compound very infrequently. Um, 
I shouldn't say compounded because if you do it infrequently, you're not really a compounder. <laughs> For pharmacists and pharmacy techs who infrequently compound and would have to make something like this very seldom, um, would probably just use a mortar or pestle for this. But the people that uh, do it regularly would use this method. They would use the, the classic spatulation method. Um, I'm going to put this in a jar in a minute here. You're going to see that. Um, and I noticed when I started to set up that I didn't have any jars left. Now we have jars here in the pharmacy lab. So I just went and grabbed one out of the bin. Uh, but before you start, uh, you may want to <clears throat> count your jars or, uh, well, uh, and if you come up short, uh, what you'll need to do is take one of your jars from last week or week before, you know, which to me is actually this morning, <laughs> and uh, uh, clean it out so you can start over again so you can, so you can reuse the jar because you're not going to need the preps anyway. Okay, so what we have here now. It's about 25 grams of this cream with about five grams of this um, cinnamon in it, and it's all nice and uniform. So we're gonna, we're gonna wipe that into, there's how we did that. We'll wipe that into the jar. And it, uh, it goes fairly easily, and uh, looks like we got it all. Okay, fine. Fine. Fine and good. Let me put that cap back on this before it squeezes, gets all over something. Okay. So there's our, there's our preparation. Um, I'm going to get rid of this parchment paper. And I'm going to grab a paper towel or tissue, anything like that. And uh, these threads are still clean. Clean these threads off real nice. Okay, so that's good. So we got nice. It looks like a good preparation that way. It doesn't look sloppy. Okay. Here we have it. Okay. Normally, the amount you would make would be more consistent with the size of the jar. Okay. But we're, you know, uh, we're just doing uh, exercises here. So we're not, <coughs> we're not worrying about whether the jar is full. Uh, customers typically critically will do that you know the charge not Paul you didn't give me enough um, so uh, hopefully the prescription will be for an amount that's the size of the jar you can't you can't really without talking to the physician you can't really change the amount of the prescription and there's only so many size jars but uh, generally speaking um, the quantities that they're used to writing for are quantities that come this way okay. that we have jars for. Uh, just a little aside just for fun. Um, this cream was in this too, right? That's where I got it from. Okay. And there's no way that anybody is ever going to put cream in that little hole and get it in the tube. That's not going to happen. Uh, so you know, how, how was it in there? Well, fact of the matter is, this is not open until this is, I'm sorry, this is not sealed. This is open until the end. And um, the cream goes in there. And then the, the end is sealed. If it's 
if it's an aluminum tube, it would be crimped and it closes it together. This is uh, plastic or, or, yeah, well, it's plastic. And it's uh, sealed with a heat seal. Um, so if you ever wonder how to get that cream in that, in that tube, that's a, this, these are open at the end. And then they just seal it <clears throat> at the end. All right. Uh, so everything has to have a label. Don't forget that. And this is cinnamon cream. There it is, and it's 20, well, again, it's 30 grams. It's 25 grams of cream and five grams of cinnamon. So the product is 30 grams. Today, in case you're wondering, is October the 3rd. And made by me. Okay, so there it's labeled. Creams, I think you will find, uh, are easier to work with than ointments. They're thinner, they're more, uh, uh, they move around better, they're not as sticky. Um, they're just, they're just easier. Um, and Customers, patients prefer creams. There we go. Here I am. Okay. Uh, patients prefer creams uh, because they're more cosmetically acceptable. They rub in, they disappear, they vanish. You know, you've heard of vanishing cream. Well, most creams are vanishing creams. You rub them in and, and they vanish. Uh, ointments, however, are frequently more effective therapeutically because they're greasy and they 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 keep air out and 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 um, water in they prevent evaporation and often work better than creams do so it's a it's a it's a value judgment you know just how much uh, um, how much occlusiveness do you need uh, if you need it uh, you need ointments. If you don't need it, uh, creams are fine. So we'll put this over here. Uh, we did it. Um, again, copy what I did, uh, make a video, and turn it in as your assignment. Th these are what we refer to as competencies. And uh, we have to see that you can do it. And the only way that I can see that you can do it, uh, since I'm here and you're there, wherever there is, um, is for you to submit a video. So uh, that needs to be done. Uh, so uh, hopefully you've got the hang of that. Well, this is week five. You've got to have the hang of that by now or, or you're lost already. But I'm sure we'll be talking about it. <clears throat> uh, you know, you have my email, you have my phone number. Uh, you know, I'll help you any way you can to uh, try to get that to, to function for you. Okay, so uh, have a good week. And I'll see you next week, week six.